Hello, this is a short video to illustrate how to control a Sony or Canon camera over the internet uh, utilizing Applied Logic Engineering's serial to LAN C converter and a simple uh, commercially available serial port server uh, as illustrated here. The uh, three components to this system are of course the camera shown in the background the Applied Logic Engineering 708 uh, serial to LAN C converter shown on the right and the serial port server uh, box which is shown on the left side. Applied Logic's serial to LAN C LAN C converter is illustrated here. Uh, in this particular case it's mounted in a plastic enclosure and uh, the top is removed so that you can see uh, how the uh, board uh, works in context of this design. Basically what this serial board does is takes RS-232 data and converts that to a LANC type stream that can direct be used directly to control either a Sony or a Canon camera. To begin the connection process the LANC or LANC cable uh, that comes from the AL serial to LANC converter board should be plugged into any particular Sony or Canon camera that you wish to control. As you can see on this particular camera it has a LANC port uh, offered uh, on the uh, camera itself. And so basically we just make a simple connection to uh, that uh, port uh, with the cable from the applied logic board and uh, that completes the connection to the camera. On some cameras the uh, LAN C connection is going to be made via the AV or AV out connection. Uh, this is pretty typical on most new Sony cameras and, and many Canon cameras as well. Uh, if this is the case in your particular camera, uh, Applied Logic sells a adapter cable to go from the standard 2.5 millimeter LANC jack to this uh, special 10 pin connector. Uh, to mate with the AV connection out. Next, we connect a standard serial cable to the Applied Logic serial to LANC converter. Um, this is just done simply by pressing the serial cable connection uh, onto the uh, uh, designated 9 pin connector. In this example, we're using a NetEon GW212 serial server. Uh, to provide the connection from the uh, serial LANC controller to the internet. Um, the other end of the serial cable that we just connected to the applied logic controller board should be uh, connected to this serial server so it's just simply a matter of plugging the 9 pin connector in uh, as designated uh, on the uh, serial port server. Any serial port server can be used uh, for this application uh, but we have had good success using the NetEon device. Next we connect power and the Ethernet connection to the serial server. This is done by simply plugging in the DC to DC conversion and then pressing uh, the Ethernet connection into the Ethernet jack on the box. At this point you should see a red flashing light indicating that everything is working properly and the green LED illustrates uh, traffic on the LAN. After the hardware has been configured and all the cabling has been connected, uh, next we launch the NetEon monitor program which allows us to set up uh, IP address and other configuration information for the serial port server. As you can see in this example uh, we have uh, DHCP enabled and the DHCP server on this LAN has assigned a network address of 192.168.1.109 for this particular serial server box. So that's important to know when we get over to the configuration software. Next we run NetEon's uh, serial IP control panel software as you can see here. Essentially what we've done is we have configured this particular serial server to be on COM17. You can pick basically any COM number that you want uh, that's available on your particular system. And you can see here that we're connected to the server 
on 192, 168, 1, 109, and it's important to also port the port number, uh, in this case, 4660. Once you do that, uh, the software uh, has been properly configured and we're ready to go. Essentially the way that this works then is we're creating a virtual serial port on this particular PC that's going to communicate over the Ethernet, uh, over the Internet to this particular serial port server that we have connected to the camera. At this stage we're all set to control the camera over the Internet. What we're doing in this particular example is using Applied Logic's LANC controller software which is being shown on the screen here. As you can see in the upper left corner, we have um, configured this software to use COM17, which is the port that we designated uh, in the serial port servers control software. So essentially, this software is going to talk on COM17. That's going to be picked up by the NetEon driver, and that information will be converted and sent over the Ethernet. What this software does uh, basically is gives you a complete set of LAN C controls. Uh, as you can see uh, on the uh, bottom part portion of the screen here. What we're going to do is simply go over and click on the button here to record start. And by doing that, um, the camera has just been placed into a, a recording session over the internet. To show this action from the camera side, right now the camera is in record standby mode. Again, we'll press the button on the record start from the PC. The command will be sent over to the camera over the internet, and as you can see, it goes into recording mode. Uh, if I click the button again in the software for the record start stop, I can then uh, get the software to stop recording and go back into standby mode. There are several other commands that we'll highlight here in the Applied Logic LAN C Control Deluxe software. Um, one of the uh, features that's interesting for, uh, particularly for remote use, is the power commands. We can actually power up the camera and power down the camera remotely. So the camera's on right now. I'll click the power down button, and the camera has gone to a power off state. Uh, if I then go over to the power up button, and click that. The camera then is uh, powered on and uh, begins uh, to operate in a standby mode. As you can see in the software there's also a number of camera commands that can be uh, used remotely. Um, zoom can be controlled both zoom, zoom in and zoom out at various speeds as indicated. Uh, we also have the ability to control focus, uh, auto, uh, set it to auto or manual. In manual mode you have the ability to control the focus uh, nearer and farther controls remotely as well. On the right hand side of the screen uh, we have a snapshot. We can take uh, we can capture photos on the camera by clicking these buttons and uh, those can either be saved to disk or can be saved to a memory card. In summary the combination of the Applied Logic Engineering serial to LAN C controller combined together with a serial port server gives you the ability to essentially control a camera uh, remotely from anywhere in the world. The Applied Logic Engineering uh, software gives a very rich set of commands that can be uh, used to control the functionality and the features in the camera from recording start stop to power on and off uh, to zooming, focus, uh, snapshots and quite a number of other capabilities as well. Please see our website www.appliedlogic.eng.com for further details about this product and for any additional information you might need.